Hi everybody, welcome to my channel Humble Has. We are making this beautiful pillow. It is Easter themed. You can also choose how many flowers you want to put on this pillow. It is a very simple project and I hope that you will have fun. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing that you'll need are some basic pillow forms. This is not a must. You can stuff the pillow with polyfill. Of course, it's most likely to come out through the through the stitches, but it is possible. I got these pillows at Michael's and they come in a pack of two. These ones measure 18 by 18 inches. You can also sew your own pillows. The choice is yours. The things I always have on hand are my measuring tape, a yarn needle, scissors, and stitch markers. You can also use paper clips if you don't have these. The crochet hook that I will be using is a 6.5 millimeter one or a size K. For the yarn, I will be using this Bernat Velvet. This is a bulky 5 and the recommended hook size is a 6.5 millimeter. This is 100% polyester. The color is chilled blue. Now it's always a gamble which colors you're going to find unless you order online but when you go to the craft store. So pick out whatever colors you like for the flowers. For example here I have a misty green and then I have a tiny teal right here. Just pick whatever colors you like for your flowers as many or as few as you want. Now for the flowers my yarn is a different weight which is a medium four and the recommended hook size is a five so when i do the flowers my, i'm going to change my hook to the size five or size h if you will okay we're going to start and i am going to just make a loop then i'm going to take my hook insert into the middle grab the loose end then carefully Hold on to these two and pull in opposite directions. And I'm sorry, my fingers are painted or stained. I think it's from the measuring tape. I'm not sure. I tried to take it off and it wouldn't work. So I'm sorry for that. <laughs> anyway, um, so once you pulled in opposite directions, then you pull on one of the strings and adjust it onto your hook. Not too tight, not too loose. Then start your first chain by yarning over, so put the yarn over your hook and then pull it through the loop. That's one chain. Again, yarn over, pull it through the loop. That is two. Yarn over, pull it through the loop. Now the only problem with this yarn is that it's so fuzzy that sometimes it's hard to see the stitches. You're going to have to feel your weight through in some of them. And also it's very important that you count along. So we need to make as many chains as needed to reach 18 inches. Okay, because remember the pillows are 18 by 18. So we want to get as close to it as possible. And count your chains while you're doing that. Now I have 52 chains. There's my 18 inches. To this chain of 52, I am going to chain one more. Only here in the base chain. That's going to give me 53. This last one does not count. Now we will go back with single crochet. So you're going to skip this last one that you made. And you will insert your stitch. And like I said, it's hard to see. So this is the first one. Let me just show you. So there's that first one and there's that second chain and that is where you want to insert your hook and we're going to make single crochets all the way so you insert your hook and not in that one but the second one you yarn over pull up a loop you yarn over and pull through two loops and that is your first single crochet now if you wanted to that is where these stitch markers come in handy. You can add them right here so that you know where your first single crochet is. Then you go into that second stitch. And like I said, you'll feel it like the 
Somehow the, f the hook finds its way. <laughs> then yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And you keep on doing these single crochets until you have, once again, 52 single crochet stitches. Now, if you needed a different size for your pillow, that's fine. Um, as long as you're counting along and you know the number of stitches that you have in every row, that's okay. Now, at the end of row one, when you're done, I just wanted to show you how you turn. So you have your stitches and then you're going to chain one. So yarn over and pull through that loop. Now you're going to turn your work. I always turn it in the same direction. Now, a lot of people get confused as to where they need to insert their hook on their way back. So this is that turn that we just made and you want to insert your hook right here. Hope you were able to see that. So if you look at it from the top, there's two loops now from every stitch and you want to go through both of them. You kind of pull it apart, you insert your hook, yarn over and do your single crochet and you can add a stitch marker here as well to remember so you go through those two loops I really hope that you can see this you go through those two loops because that is your first single crochet and then you continue and of course count along to make sure that you have that number of stitches. In my case, it's 52. And from now on, you're going to do row. So this is row number two, the one that I just started. You will keep on doing rows of, the, of single crochet and you will do a total of 52 rows. So the same amount of chains that we had at the beginning. Okay, you have finished the square for the pillow. I'm sorry, I can't get it all into my camera, but this is what it looks like, 52 stitches and 52 rows. Now you will need to do a second one, of course, the exact same size. So go ahead and do that. But when you're done, do not cut it off. Do not cut off the yarn, because this is the yarn that we will use to join both sides. Let's move on. To the flowers. For the flowers, I am now going to change my crochet hook to a five millimeter one and I will take all my other colored yarns. This is what the end piece is going to look like. So every time you finish a flower, always leave a longer thread so that you can then so that you can then join it to the pillow. And you can do as many flowers as you like and as many colors as you like. So I'm going to show you how to do one and then you do the rest. Okay, let's do a slip knot. Remember, form a little loop, insert your hook through the middle, take that loose end, put your thumb on it, and then get a hold of both ends and pull in opposite directions. And pull on one end and adjust it to your hook. Now chain five, yarn over, pull through. There are my five chains. Now we will join the first chain with this last one. So if you're looking at it like this, kind of twist it, and you will insert your hook through this loop right here. So don't leave it like this. Look at it this way and into that first loop, yarn over, pull through and then pull through the one that's on your hook. Now we will chain one and into this ring we need to single crochet 12 stitches. So you go into the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. This is where your stitch markers come in handy or your paper clips. You see this first stitch that we did? Those two loops right there? That is where I will insert my stitch marker. 
and then continue. So that was my first single crochet. And I need to do a total of 12. There are my 12 single crochets. That is why this stitch marker was handy, because now you need to slip stitch into that first stitch. So go ahead and do your slip stitch. Remember, go through those loops. Now you can take out this stitch marker and chain three. One, two, and three. Now I want to put my stitch marker into that first chain that I made. This next stitch right here, so it's hard to see with this yarn. So that stitch we're going to skip will work into that next one. So do a single crochet in there. Now chain three again. Skip one stitch. And then go into that next one. Chain three. Again, skip one stitch and go into the next one until you have a total of six spaces. When you've come to your last chain of three, you want to slip stitch into where we put the stitch marker, okay, which was that first chain. You can take this out. Now you have these six spaces right here. Into each space, you're going to do the same thing. So, you will do one single crochet. You might want to put a stitch marker here again so that you know where that beginning one is. Then one half double crochet, that is you yarn over, you insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now, three double crochets. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. Again, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. So that's my second double crochet, and then one more. Now again, one half double crochet, yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and one single crochet again. And you will repeat that into every space. Okay, when you're done with all six of these petals and you will be back on this side, all you will do is do a slip stitch into this stitch where you put the stitch marker. Do a slip stitch, then cut off the yarn. Then remember to leave a longer piece of yarn. Then you just do a yarn over and pull that yarn through to tighten it and you are done and then you continue on to the next flower. So pick a side or any of the two squares that you would like and then lay out the flowers the way you want to sew them onto the square. So I think I'm gonna go with something like this. Okay the first thing that we want to do so remember we have that long piece of yarn and then that short one from our slip knot. First thing you want to do is thread this in. So you take your flower and then you go into alternating stitches back and forth. This is how you will thread all of them. So it doesn't show and then go back and do the same thing. And I'll cut off this yarn. And do the same with the rest of them. Only leave the long yarn on it. So since this yarn is up here, you want to get it towards the middle. So 
because this is the part that we want to sew onto the square. Go through these stitches right here. The yarn more towards the middle. Now insert your yarn needle. Now just make sure that you're going through these stitches here. So back and forth to securely tighten this flower. After one round, you will turn this. You just want to go and make a knot in the back. And there you have the first flower. And now continue to do the other ones, however, wherever you want to place them. Okay, so I know it doesn't fit in the camera, but there are my flowers on this side and then this corner. Now we need to join these two sides. So remember I told you do not cut up the yarn from your second piece. After that last stitch you will chain one. Um, just make sure obviously that the lines are going horizontally and not one vertical and one horizontal. So align these two. Okay, let's join up the two sides now with single crochets. And I made sure that both of my base chains were at the bottom. So on the same side, that way I can align these and I can see where these line up. And it just makes it easier to know where I need to go. Now, when I get to this first corner in all the corners actually, I am going to do two single crochets in that same corner and that is to round it off. And then you continue with your single crochets all the way around this side, round the corner again with two single crochets into that corner stitch to round it off and then you go back up so you will have an opening here on one of the sides and that is when we will put our pillow in and then finish off with single crochets. This is where I will put the pillowcase in. Now all I need to do is just join the top side with single crochets. Now for your last stitch when you're back around all you do is you slip stitch into that first one and you cut off your yarn yarn over and pull through that loop. And now you will thread this in just like we've done with all the other things. Okay, and I know that last part is a little bit hard at the top to join together because you have that thick pillow inside. Um, you just have to squeeze it down and then shape it back to its regular form. But there you have it. A beautiful pillow for Easter or for any other place or maybe your child's bedroom. I hope this was easy enough and it wasn't as hard as it looks. It's a beautiful pillow and especially with all types of yarns and colors and you can put so many flowers. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching. Follow me on my Instagram at HumbleHus and tag me with your work. I would love to see what you come up with. Please subscribe here to my channel. That way you get the newest videos and I will see you next time. This is my channel, HumbleHus. Bye.